Hi guys, um, today's look is this crazy avant-garde-ish thing that I did. Um, I asked my Twitter followers, if you're not following, link in the sidebar, um, as to what kind of video they wanted me to do. And for the majority of them picked um, avant-garde, like high fashion kind of thing. So this is what I came up with. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, so the t top two choices on Twitter were between avant-garde and my room tour. Um, I, my room is almost clean. Um, I have like a couple more hours of just putting stuff away before I kind of want to show it in its pristine condition. So my next video will be a room tour. Yay! Cue, cue applause. Um, yeah, so you guys can check out my awesome little bachelor pad. Um, until then, um, this is the tutorial for this. Um, I don't know how helpful this is going to be to anybody, but I was bored, so... Yeah, and I made a tutorial in case you guys want to see. And black lipstick is not cute on your teeth. No, not at all. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to get the tutorial started and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Bye! Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, um, I've already went ahead and applied Urban Decay. And the thing I'm going to use is, this is um, Red Velvet Shade Stick from MAC. I think it came out with like a collection, something to do with like sugar or some friggin' thing, I don't remember. Um, basically it's like a pink base color kind of thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply this just above the crease. You can kind of see that I started it right about there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to blend it up with my finger. Okay, so once you have that done, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply just a white shade kind of all over the lid. Um, I'm using Max White eyeshadow called Gesso. Gesso, maybe? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just taking on a big fluffy brush. You can use whatever brush you want. And I'm just going to pack that right on the lid. Sort of a little bit up into the crease, kind of. Just get it um, even on both sides and you're good. White color applied. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, this pink color from MAC. This is called De Bling. De Bling Bling. Oh, you can't see that at all. Um, so I'm just gonna use the same brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of blend it into where I put the pink base. Next color I'm gonna take is the kind of the darkest pink color that you see there and I'm pretty sure this is limited edition um, I think passionate is close to this this is post haste post haste um, it's just a matte uh, the duh, duh, matte um, pink color so again I'm just gonna take the same brush and I'm kind of gonna turn my brush sideways just to start blending out um, color it's kind of a trick Instead of just like placing it, just to start blending it as soon as you place it. Just so that uh, you can see it all kind of blends nicely. Now as you're applying this color, you kind of want to take it um, a little bit into your um the side of your nose so when we blend it with the black it'll have something to blend with you look like a freaking retard right now but again um yeah and you can also blend that right up to the eyebrow too because we are going to be blending it with the black color Get a whole crap ton of pink on there then the next color you're going to take is um i'm using this is beauty marked um it's actually uh, okay it's actually a black with kind of reflecty, reddy things in it. Um, basically, I just it's it's black for the most part. So I'm just gonna take the same brush because I'm lazy, and just get some of that on there. And then we're gonna kind of go into the eyebrow-ish area, kind of. Um, you can see that it's not as dark as the next color I'm going to be using, but it's still reasonably dark. 
And again, I'm just using the side of my brush kind of trick and uh, blending it as you place it, which is fun. And blended and such. Okay, so once you have that color on, you can see that they're not, again, not the same shape. Now is when you want to go in with a, um, a different kind of brush. I'm using like an angly doohickey. Um, and I'm going to go in with a matte black. This is carbon from MAC. Mine looks busted up, but yeah. And this is when you kind of want to be precise in where you're going to fill in your brows and stuff. Um, I kind of just went straight up to here, and that's kind of where I started it. So I'm going to do the same on this side. My eyebrows don't really match up, so I'm going to do it that way. Um, it's best to have a mirror kind of far away so that you can check to see, because when you do it up close, um, it's hard to tell how even stuff is. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, kind of draw that on. And then I know the first thing that's going through your head is how the hell am I going to get this out of my eyebrows? And that makes two of us because this is going to be a pain in the ass. So if you see that something's not even, you can touch it up kind of on either side to make sure um, that they are. You can add more pink, add more black. Um whatever then the next thing i did is i took the um shade stick like this and i just went underneath my eye now this is actually surprising because most of the time when you put put pink near your eye it makes you look like you're uh diseased um this actually isn't bad though so you know that helps and then, um, just with a different little tiny angle brush, just pick up a little bit of that post-taste color. Just kind of pat it on, on top of it, kind of, ish. That's my new favorite word, ish. I don't know where that's from. I'm crazy, remember? Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blush. This is kind of like a... Um, like a matte red blush. Don't ask me why the hell I bought this. I never, I've never used it on my face because it makes me look like Pikachu. But um, yeah, it's called Frankly Scarlet. If you have it, then good. It's based. I use it as a giant red eyeshadow, basically. But anyway, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I'm just gonna go over that pink kind of color, makes it more red. Careful not to get any of that in your eye, because that's probably not good. I'm just assuming that's not good. Okay, so that's done, basically. Um, you could perfect it more, but since I'm taking it off, I'm not going to. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and apply a coat of mascara. I'm using, this is like an Urban Decay sample I got. It's like the Skyscraper something something. I don't freaking remember. Can't read it. And then I'm just gonna go on my just my top lashes. You kind of want to get close to the lashes because I'm not playing liner, but um, you want to like the base of your lashes to look thick. Okay, so once you've done that, I kind of like how that looks against the uh, the white eyeshadow. It's kind of like, shabam. So yeah, I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to show you kind of how um, to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of this. So yeah. Um, now that you look absolutely freaking insane, um, it's kind of fun though. I don't know. Uh, um, again, I'm bored, so this is why this tutorial exists. So I think I'm going to do a black lip just for... Um, uh, I don't know because I can so I'm gonna take this is actually black knight lipstick from Mac um, Mine broke so I kind of put the top part of it in this makes it kind of easier in a sense to uh, put it on too And I'm just using this is not really a lip brush, but I'm gonna use it as a lip brush and I'm gonna like very carefully Put this 
um, on. Yeah, so I'm probably going to zoom this up because it's going to take me like forever. So, oh, <coughs> I just died. <coughs> yeah, so put your damn lip on. So, um, lips are done. Mm, crazy. Um, be careful not to get black lipstick on your teeth. Um, that's one thing about this, makes your teeth look, like, insanely white. Um, yeah, so this is kind of my, I don't know, um, look. I don't know what to call it, so I'm probably gonna ask my Twitter followers. If you're not following me on Twitter, uh, link in the sidebar for that. Um, yeah. So, I don't know how assisting or... No. I don't know how helpful this is going to be to anybody, but it's fun, I guess. It's kind of funky. I'm going to go take pictures because it looks kind of cool. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. So let me know if you guys want me to do more stupid, crazy looks like this. Um, I definitely will. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed that and I will talk to you guys later.